guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So if you saw my recent video, we made the background papers with the jelly plate and then we made the snippet roll um, with the, you know, with the papers that we made from the jelly plate. So this is my snippet roll um, that I made. And I said that I had something that I really wanted to try out um, to incorporate with the snippet roll. And we just kind of ran out of time, basically, which was why I obviously didn't, you know, wasn't able to do it. So my idea, basically, and I've just tried one, literally, as a kind of prototype, basically. So I ordered these pressed flowers from Amazon. Now, I didn't even know that Amazon did such things, but I recently watched a video by um, Jessica over at, she's actually called Paper Terrace now. She used to be I'm a Cool Mum. And she mentioned, she did like a haul that she'd done from Amazon, and she mentioned that she bought a bunch of pressed flowers from Amazon. Who knew? Who knew that Amazon did press flowers? I mean, what an awesome thing to be able to just buy. Because to be honest, I have tried pressing flowers, but I've never had much luck. Um, you know, they have to be specific types of flowers, really, to get good results, because otherwise they're too bulky, they're too bumpy, they're, you know, they just don't work out. So I was very excited when I obviously saw her video, and I went straight onto Amazon and just typed in, you know, pressed flowers. So, sorry, I'm just quickly quickly blowing my nose so I typed in pressed flowers and actually there were quite a big selection to choose from so I bought a couple of different ones um and now I seem to have misplaced misplaced the first pack anyway this was the second pack so basically I got all of these pressed flowers these ones came in this beautiful black envelope, sort of really nicely packaged and, you know, really, really nice. Um, these ones, which I'm struggling to see the other ones that came with it. Again, I think it was a pack of four, um, you know, four of these little cellophane kind of wraps of flowers. But they actually came with a set of tweezers to be able to pick the flowers up with so you know sort of handy and um yeah although they weren't sort of presented so beautifully here we go I've located them they were just in this you know um zip top bag but these were the colors that I got in this pack but they did come with the tweezers so you know it swings in roundabouts anyway very excited to get them and what I thought we could do is incorporate some of these gorgeous pressed flowers into our snippet roll. So that was my exciting, exciting idea. Um, probably not really that exciting, but I had never seen anyone do this before. And of course, I wondered, how am I going to incorporate that? Because, you know, obviously the problem with pressed flowers is they're going to gradually kind of fade out. You know, the colour's going to fade out. So when you order these... These come in these like um, vacuum packed bags, which is obviously keeping the colour in. But I mean, as soon as you sort of take them out, they're going to over a few days, you know, have lost their colour. So what I've done, I've just glued the flower down onto some card. And then I went over it with some glossy accents. I've got to be truthful, it wasn't glossy accents, it was crackle accents. Um, because I'd actually run out of glossy accents. I have ordered some more now, but it's not arrived at this point. So I'm going to have to just go with this now today. Um, but it's fine. I don't think, you know, personally, I don't think the crackle particularly shows up. And if I just show you there, I mean, I can't really see any crackle on there, but hey, my eyesight's pretty rubbish. Maybe you can. But I thought then we could incorporate these flowers onto the snippet roll. How gorgeous do they look? So I'm just going to show you basically how I did the one that I've done as the kind of prototype and then probably you know I'll just show you a couple and then I'll go off and kind of glue a bunch down so you're not just watching because it will be you know really really boring obviously to watch um, and then I will come back once they're all dry and ready to use and we can add them onto our our snippet roll so I'm just going to start by gluing a bunch of the flowers down now I'm using just my regular tacky glue you know I mean this is just the glue that I really like to use it's the one that I find you know I get on best with so I'm just going to just literally glue a bunch on this is just some 12 for 12 scrapbook paper that you know I'm not really going to be using so yeah I just want to kind of get a whole bunch oops now I'm not even using my 
tweezers and actually in hindsight perhaps I should oh I'm just do you know I think that was wrong way up so let's try it this way up yeah in hindsight perhaps I should be using my tweezers because perhaps I'm going to end up damaging the flowers oh my goodness look at how cute this one is I don't know how I'm going to cut this out to be honest that's going to be super tricky super tricky to cut out I mean perhaps what I should do is kind of like do a big cluster of of flowers so let's get this out <clears throat> oh gosh right I'll have to do this in sort of batches I think so right let's put this one down and then I'm wondering whether I could build them up like a sort of almost like a bouquet so as I actually get like a bigger effect going on again I've forgotten to bring my dry wipe along which is typical because this would be precisely the type of thing that I need the dry wipe for okay. I might just oops I might just pop this down here like I say sort of make a little bit of a bunch of them that then I can you know they'll make a bit more of an impact so I mean like that yellow one is tiny so perhaps we could actually glue down another yellow one right super messy so you know if you don't like getting messy yeah use use the tweezers that they send if if you bought that one that is <clears throat> oops so I'm just layering them up just so I've got a bit more bit more going on really so I've got this white one now. I mean, there obviously is a right and a wrong side. And would you believe I'm still doing this without my glasses? Like, I should really have just popped my glasses on, really. Mm, let's go up there. Okay. And again, I'm just going to oops, glue that stem down. Now, I'm not too, too worried about the gluing down because so long as they're kind of held in place, I mean, obviously, when I then crackle accent them or, you know, glossy accent them, that will also glue them, you know, adhere them to the paper more. So I'm not sort of getting too, too worried about it. Now, let's just see. Got these like fern type leaves. Oh, they're not going to really work, are they? I wonder whether I could just do a bit more of a cluster here. <clears throat> and actually whether we could take oh so these are pretty delicate I mean I've just kind of literally barely touched that and already I've split it but you know then we can kind of build up a bit more a bit more of a sort of bigger piece and then it's not going to be quite so nightmarish to cut it down so yeah I think I will do that for a few of these Okay, I've got these little ones, which, wow, how delicate are these? Perhaps we should put those on there. Okay, whoops, just pop that there. And I've got another one, maybe there, or there, probably there. I just thought this was a bit of a twist on the, you know, the dried flowers. Instead of just adding them to, you know, laminated pieces or acetate and things. Which is generally how I've always seen them really, you know, being used. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to claim this as my idea. I'm just saying I had never seen this personally. Um, you know, but I'm not, yeah, I'm definitely not trying to say it's never been done. I'm saying I, I haven't seen it. Um, so I just, yeah, I just thought it was a nice thing to do something a little bit different to just using you know the acetate and all of that that I'd seen kind of in previous or you know always kind of seen whoops always seen them being used previously so uh, I mean I'm not the best flower arranger it's got to be said you can probably tell so yeah maybe I'll maybe I'll just leave that how that is right 
let's just pop this one down. Like I say, I really should have put my glasses on for this, to be honest. I think I would be now having a bit more luck if I'd actually put my glasses on. Okay. Oh, look. They are so very delicate. And yeah, now I've, now I've torn it. Oops. Let's just try and pick this one up. And this is, of course, why they provide you with the tweezers. Thing is, I'm not brilliant with things like tweezers, so I can't help but think, actually, oops, the tweezers would possibly be a bit more of a hindrance, but I might have to try the tweezers in a minute because, yeah, I'm not, not making a very good job of this. Uh, right, let's just see if we want to mix these with, like, some yellow. <clears throat> Maybe, like, there. Actually, let me just see if we want to have a bit of leaf, a bit of greenery. Maybe coming from here. Oh dear, I'm making a terrible job of this, I must say. Okay, let's put this down Oops, over here. Yeah, I mean, I have tried pressing my own flowers you know, in the past, but like I say, I just never had very good results, to be honest. But I mean, I suspect I've been trying to use the wrong types of flowers, um, you know, because I mean, obviously you can't kind of take like a great big, I don't know, like rose or something. I mean, uh, well, you probably can. And I'm probably, you know, probably talking utter rubbish here, but I feel like you can't, um, you know, because they're just too big and bulky and they're not then going to you know, work really nicely. But I mean, that's probably just my inexperience, you know, probably if you've, if you've pressed flowers before, you perhaps could do that and achieve that. Let's put that there like that. Okay. Whoops. This yellow one, there won't be anything left of it in a minute. If I pull it around much more. So I'm just kind of layering them up and just, um, you know, doing some little sort of, you know, like what will effectively be, hopefully, bunches of kind of flowers. So then I'm just going to take my crackle accents. Obviously, like I say, I would have probably used the glossy accents, but it's just I have run out and it's not arrived. You know, I've ordered some yesterday, obviously, as soon as I kind of thought of the idea, but, it, you know, as yet it's not arrived. So I thought, well, I couldn't wait to try it. Let's just try it with this. So I'm going to go over... And all I'm going to do is get like a good blob going onto the flowers. And this is going to be, you know, hopefully the sealant. I mean, obviously I only did that prototype yesterday. So, I mean, I've not actually technically had it down for long enough to know that it's going to definitely seal the colour in. But, you know, I can't see why it wouldn't because effectively, you know, it's doing what the kind of acetate and things would do. So, fingers crossed, it's, you know, it's going to be successful. So, what I've done, I mean, I just, again, I just use my fingers and probably, you know, a normal person would probably just, you know, use their, their brush. But I've just used my fingers and dabbed it all over. And hopefully you can see, it's got a really good coating now. So, obviously that needs to now dry. Um, and then I will come back and we'll cut them out and we can then put them onto our snippet roll. So again, I'm just going to kind of go over the other flowers that I've done. And like I say, I mean, rather than kind of bore you with this, I will go and do the rest of these, you know, off camera. So as to save you the painful process of me just, you know, gluing a bunch of pressed flowers down and um, glossy accent in them. But, you know, I'm just really hoping that this is going to work really nicely because, you know, it worked really nicely on this one. And, you know, when I fussy cut it out, you know, it just looks lovely and it's got a sturdy feel to it. I mean, you may wonder why I didn't just stick them onto the, um, you know, snippet roll itself and then kind of glossy accent them. The reason I didn't do that is because, as you can see, I mean, I'm not particularly neat. So I'm going kind of like all over, you know, and then I can cut them down. So that's the first reason is because, of course, I didn't want to have like messy glossy accent you know, like all over the edges um, on my snippet roll. But the other reason is because um, 
doing it like this, you can get the cut out piece on the background, if you see what I mean. And I thought it's going to stand out from the snippet roll a bit better being on the paper because, you know, it's got a bit more of a kind of, um, well, I mean, it's got a background for a start. And of course, you know, it's got a different texture and things. So that's why I didn't do it direct to the snippet roll. I mean, you can probably see I have been super extravagant. No need to be this extravagant. I'm just very, you know, clumsy and ham-fisted. So for me, this works best. And then to cut it out is going to be easiest. But yeah, you don't obviously need to be so extravagant as this. So I'm just going to go along the rest of this sheet of paper and just layer up this packet, which was obviously the blue packet. I'm just going to use all of them that, that were in the packet. And then obviously, whoops, I will come back once the glossy accents or the crackle accents, once, once it's dried, and we can see how they will look on our snippet roll. So I will see you soon. Right, guys, I am back. Um, I have to say, this is kind of, um, you know, later on. So I've, yeah, been doing kind of other things. But I've got now a bunch of flowers that we can add to our snippet roll. So I'm just kind of showing you how they look here. They've all been, um, you know, crackle accented obviously like I said before I would have preferred to use the um uh you know glossy accents but I just didn't have any so you know I've used the crackle accents hopefully that's going to be you know just as kind of durable um I, mean, I don't know whether the glossy accents would be durable either it's got to be said because I haven't ever done this before but you know just just winging a prayer stuff here now this one here you can probably see I mean that flower it's gone very lime green not really how I expected it to go at all um so I'm going to just see what it looks like when it's inked if it doesn't kind of tone down I might snip that one off because yeah I'm not not overly enjoying that one mm, that's a little bit on the green side isn't it let's just get rid of that so yeah I mean it's a bit weird but never mind right let's cut that off okay and go round that white edge so that's my <clears throat> my flowers now so again we can kind of like position them somewhere nice on the snippet roll so yeah maybe like here or something that looks pretty doesn't it yeah I love how that looks actually so and again I'm thinking maybe time to add a bit of lace onto this snippet roll as well so I've got some of this blue don't know whether the blue is going to be right because obviously you know I thought the blue like with the flowers but I mean of course it is the wrong the wrong shade of blue so mm, maybe it's not quite not quite right maybe ivory would be better let's just have a look let me just cut a little tiny piece of this <clears throat> and we'll just see now I've also got these fabric flowers so I wonder whether we can kind of mix them in with the with the pressed flowers. Really, I'm just trying to disguise that sort of lime greeny kind of appearance where I'd cut it off, to be honest. So that's, yeah, that's my main, my main goal really is trying to disguise that. Um, hmm, I don't know whether that's really kind of looking quite right or not, but what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Got some other lace here. <clears throat> Try some of this. Oh, I don't know now. Hmm. Let me just cut this down. So this was some beautiful lace that I received um, from, I think they're called Leather and Lace. They're who I got my beautiful stamps from, the French kind of inspired stamps. So yeah, kind of um, really, really pretty. Right, okay, let's just go for this because otherwise I could be here all day just kind of trying to trying to decide you know so let's just go for this oops okay let's get that lace down and just put this one down okie dokie <clears throat> right, I'm just going to um, put another glue stick into my hot glue gun. Yeah, 
and then yeah I think that flower looks quite pretty kind of to the side there just pop that like that just kind of hides that bit you know where it felt like that was very lime greeny kind of coloring right let's cut a couple more off here so yeah I must say really um you know really enjoying these flowers so you know they're super pretty I mean I do wish that my uh, glossy accents had arrived because obviously that I think would have worked better um that being said the crackle accents has worked okay um yeah I mean it's worked fine to be honest I mean maybe it's even worked better because it's a bit more flexible I think than the glossy accents which I think would be very stiff so yeah I mean who knows maybe actually it's you know actually worked out well but you know once my glossy accents has arrived I will I will kind of redo them using some and see kind of you know how that compares I think so you know yeah just to get a comparison really so go around there Oh, I wish I'd not put that butterfly down because that would have been lovely there. Might have to peel that butterfly off and then re-stick it. Okay. Oops, dear. Right, let's just pop this one down. I mean, don't you just love crafting? Because you can just do things like that, you know. If things aren't quite in the right place, you can just peel them off and then just reattach them, which is just awesome, isn't it? Very few things in life are kind of as simple as that, aren't they? Um, actually, just wondering whether this is quite the right butterfly because um, it actually looks quite green now and blends in with these stems. So I might actually even, yeah, even move it along to somewhere else, to be honest. I will put a butterfly down here, but maybe a different one. So let's, whoops, let's try this one, maybe here. And again, let's just see if we want a little bit of this poking out or anything. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? What do you think? Or maybe even across here. Maybe even there. maybe like that so okay just can pop that down okay and I just get a little bit of that blue again because we did use it didn't we further down so love it when you can just tie it all together you know by using kind of similar similar pieces <clears throat> Maybe have that there. I'll just put that down here. Okay. Like that. And yep, let's <clears throat> let's get this little flower. And this was that original one, the first one that I did as my kind of prototype there. Okay, right. Let me just see whether I've got a butterfly for here before I actually forget about that. Because, you know, that's very easily done, isn't it? You know, you get kind of waylaid in what you're doing and then, yeah, forget what you were thinking that you were going to do. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, really like that. So I'll just put that sideways on. Just stands out a bit more. That other one, although it was like quite pretty, I didn't really feel like it was standing out enough, really. So yeah, I think that's a bit better. Right, let's just see. I'm going to just re-ink it to, um, you know, hopefully get it standing out a bit better again. So maybe there. Okay. <clears throat> right, let me move my snippet roll along. the 
camera slightly. Okay, let's just cut out another one. So again, this has got that lime green kind of thing going on. So I'm going to again get rid of that because yeah, just not really loving that. Okay. So how do you guys find, um, you know, pressing flowers? Have you had much success with pressing flowers? I mean, I'm thinking, you know, you have to use obviously very tiny flowers. Um, you know, I think the whole process is probably just a bit, a bit on the delicate side for me, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, if you can buy them, then that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Kind of going across the clock there. So yeah, let's pop that down. Okay, yep, really like that. Now, just see whether I want to have any lace kind of for here at all. Hmm. Hmm. Could just get a little bit of lace kind of poking out under there, really. So let's just pop some some glue onto that lace oops and then I'm just going to kind of try and glue it glue it down a bit like that okay right oh dear oh dear right okay let's just go in with some hot glue here just to stick that down Okay, looking good. Right, see if we want another butterfly anywhere. <clears throat> I mean, this is very yellow, this butterfly, but let me just ink it up and see whether it will take on a more brown kind of um, effect or appearance. Then it would go probably okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that looks okay, doesn't it? So maybe like that. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, let's now do another flower. So, yep. Okay. This this was the first one that I actually glued down. And again, I it hadn't occurred to me at this point to actually pile them up, you know, and kind of make more like bunches with them. So it's just a little lone flower, and actually, it's you know pretty small and kind of pretty pretty small and lonely. It looks. So yeah, I kind of then decided actually they're better if you group them together. But yeah, at this point I haven't tried that. So, oops, that's um, coming away from the paper. Okay, oh, and there as well. Let me glue that down. This is where the glossy accents, ooh, I think would have worked better. Oh dear. Look what's happened. Right, let's forget that one. Yeah, let's let's move on from that one. We'll just we won't mention that one. Okay, right. Let's just take this little tiny weeny yellow one. Okie dokie. Oh, it's looking lovely out there now. It's a really weird day. It had started out really sunny, really nice. Then it kind of went really miserable looking, quite sort of chilly looking. And um, yeah, it's now kind of gone back to, I mean, actually like beautiful out there now. So yeah, what a weird, weird old day. It just didn't make up its mind. I mean, I guess we all have days like that, don't we? Where we just can't make up our mind how we're feeling. So I suppose the weather's entitled to do it as well, isn't it? Right, maybe have that even just down there. Okay. Looks pretty. And right, let's go in again. Oops. Oh, again, I've got one of those green ones. Let's get rid of that. So again, I've got some of that green 
kind of on the edge so I might just have to try and cover it up with another one of those little fabric flowers or you know something else I don't know I don't know what but yeah it maybe does need covering up with something I'm not sure like I say quite what but oh it looks nice here actually oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look lovely 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 right so again just ink Ink it up. Okay, yep. Right, glue that down. Okay, and then my butterfly. Okay, looking good. Gonna put oh gosh a bit more ink on there which oh that's not good because now I've put it all over here oh well it doesn't matter it just looks really grungy that's fine I don't mind okay so that looks really nice and let's move it along a little bit more so now I've just got this section really left to do so oops struggling to fit the snippet roll in uh, right so let's take this one again. So, yeah, we've got these kind of daisies, which unfortunately they do get a bit lost on that white background. So they are actually quite hard to see. But we'll just cut around that like that. Okie dokie. Mm, come on. Okay, right, let's quickly ink this one up. Oh, that, look at that, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, and let's just see, see if we want any more of the blue. rubbish oh dear right mm. oh goodness that's just let's just trim that down yeah I mean maybe it needs just a smaller bit something like that looks quite pretty doesn't it so let's just glue this one down okay and then get these ones like that so now i'm just wondering whether we want one of those like these lace bits coming out anywhere that looks quite nice doesn't it or do we think that's a bit too much i'm actually wondering whether i might be better to get rid of a little bit of that doily and have it there so what i might do is tear that down just have that coming out at the bottom I think yeah quite like the look of that so let's just pop that down there okay so that looks pretty doesn't it now I've only got from this set now I've only got these couple of daisies left so let's just go in and trim around them Yeah, so I mean, in terms of how many you get, this was an entire one of those little packets. So it wasn't the entire set, if you see what I mean, because uh, I think each pack came with four, four little sets of the flowers. But this was one of the four, if you see what I mean. So, um, yeah, I suppose it gives you an idea of how many flowers that you actually get. I mean, obviously, they would have gone further had I not decided to clump them together. But I felt like they needed, you know, needed clumping together. Um, but yeah, I mean, they obviously would have gone further if I hadn't have done that. 
but you know I think they look a lot better being kind of lumped together really rather than just you know one sort of lone flower really right let's just get that stuck down properly okay I'm thinking a butterfly in here and actually just wondering just wondering about a little yeah let's put that down there at the end like that okay and then here let's just do the final flower yeah I'm thinking a butterfly here so let me just see see what butterflies have got that might go here Oh, I mean, that's the same as that one. I mean, it doesn't really matter, although I feel like, oh, it's right beside the other one. I mean, obviously, once the snippet roll is kind of cut down or torn down into little bits and pieces, it's no longer really going to be apparent what was next to each other, is it? So, you know, I really don't think it matters, to be honest, at all. I think it actually looked nice like that. So, yeah, that's just that down and then pop this one down like that yep now do we want any other lace I'm just going to kind of like have a look because we've got a big section here that doesn't appear to have any lace which you know heaven forbid that I would have a whole section with no lace that would just be awful wouldn't it might just have that teeny little bit kind of poking out there I know it's like really barely visible but I mean to be honest apart from anything else I've cut it off now so it gets it off of my desk so yeah I will just have a little bit there kind of hanging out oh dear oh dear making a bit of a meal of this I'm afraid yeah didn't make the best job of that at all but never mind right so that's the snippet roll incorporating the gorgeous pressed flowers, which, yeah, I mean, I actually think look really, really, really super on there. So we've obviously got these ones here, this section here with them, this one, these ones here, 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 and here. Don't they just look so scrumptious? So yeah, I mean, I really hope that you like them. I thought that it was something really different to do with the pressed flowers. And like I say, I mean, please don't, you know, quote me on this. And I apologise if you have done this, but I hadn't seen anyone do this um, before. So I just thought it was a really fun and, you know, really nice kind of thing to do for something just like totally different. So um, yeah, I really hope that you like it. And hopefully it's maybe given you some inspiration. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.